Hello there everyone and welcome back to some DML. So, we do have news on what the new dragon of the week is going to be and it is going to be the red flower dragon. So obviously we already have this guy and it has plant, fire and water as its elements and uh, not too amazing in terms of attack or defense stats honestly, but a cute little collection dragon that you can add and it, it has the same body as like the sunflower dragon, just a little bit of changes and a little bit of a different coloration so that's pretty cool so for anyone that doesn't have this guy yet look forward to that being the new dragon of the week but on top of that there is also a special facebook sweepstakes that is going to be running now so it says join the spooky vote sweepstakes on facebook and get a chance to win 2000 gems visit our facebook page react to the sweepstakes post and participate now so we'll go check that out on the DML Facebook page in a second. But if you're curious as to where I got the news about the Red Flower Dragon, it's just because they posted this little thing in-game. So obviously we can see the Red Flower Dragon's egg there. So, like, I, 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 I can tell. I can tell whose egg that is. But this post here is a little bit lengthy, but essentially it's just react to the image and then you'll have a chance to win 2,000 gems, which, you know... Pretty good trade-off, like, all that you've done is had to like a Facebook post, essentially, just to be in the running for, like, quite a lot of money's worth of gems, which is pretty solid. But let's go through this. So, greetings, Dragon Lords. The Ghastly Mansion event is still on, and the freshly revamped Clan Siege starts on Monday. It's the perfect time to have a spooky vote sweepstakes and find out which one is your favourite Halloween dragon. So, vote for your favourite by using the relevant reaction and get a chance to win 2,000 gems. If you love the gorgeous Muerte, send some love. And hit, hit that laughing face if you cheer for the spooky bone dragon. And simply a oh my gosh face if you are a true eyeball dragon fan. Is there a specific reason that you fancy one of them so much? Let us know in the comments. And so how to enter vote for them by using the reaction to receive one entry into the sweepstakes during the promotion period. So this is between the 3rd of November and the 7th of November. So that's not actually too long that you can enter for it. it's until tuesday and winners will be chosen randomly from those users who have reacted to, to the promotion post and how long is the contest the sweepstakes begins at 12 on november the 3rd and ends at 2 p.m gmt on november the 7th and five people will be awarded 2000 gems that's actually pretty crazy and it seems for the most part Everyone's voting for the Bone Dragon, which, you know, I I, ha I have to say, I I'm in that ballpark. He looks really cool. Eyeball Dragon is a good contender. Honestly, out of these three, I'd say the Muerte is my least favourite, honestly. I do really like the Bone Dragon, genuinely. So, make sure that you go and check out this post. You can just find it on the DML Facebook page. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Just go and react to it with one of those. You'll be entered into the sweepstakes. Like... Easy, easiest gems you'll ever you'll ever make in your life, basically. So, you know, another thing about the uh, the the current dragon of the week is uh, you'll notice I have this breeding time, which is pretty long, and you can see that I do have him in a hatchery here. I've actually bred two of them in a row, so we may not have bred the tree to dragon like immediately, but um, we bred two of them now. Which, I, I have no use for it. I'm going to have two of them, which means two sold, two sold dragons is what that means. Which is kind of depressing. Again, I wish I could give some of the pretty recent luck to other people. Because my luck has been very good recently. And I haven't missed out on a dragon of the week in a while. Like, I think it's been a good while actually. So, I don't know. I genuinely do a tribute getting more uh, dragons of the week and stuff like that purely from leveling up dragons so instead of using level fours and level fives to breed i tend to have dragons at like level 16 to 20 and i i do genuinely think that that is what is happening because you have the people that say oh no leveling doesn't matter at all don't worry about it but it i in my experience I have had so much more luck just having dragons that are a little bit of a higher level above level 4. Like, I'm not saying you have to go crazy with your leveling up or anything like that. No, like, nothing like that. It's just... 
I ne I barely used to breed anything, and now that all my dragons are a high level when I breed them, suddenly we're getting everything that we want. Coincidence? Well, it, it could be, but... In game, it does say the higher the level of your dragons, the higher your chances are of breeding rare stuff. So it's not like I'm just, like, spouting off nonsense that I've gotten from nowhere. So anyone that says that uh, levels of your dragons don't matter in breeding, I think, I think they're a little bit misled, to be honest with you. I can get why people think that, because it is mostly down to luck with breeding dragons of the week, dragons of the month. Don't get me wrong on that, but... Again, I can't believe that I'm having so much luck when I start using higher level dragons. And again, it is super rare for me to miss out on a dragon of the week, whereas when I used to use like level 4 dragons, I used to miss out on dragons of the week all the damn time. So, all I could do is recommend you off of what I've seen, what the game actually tells us is the case, which is indeed that higher level stuff does help. And, you know, some people still aren't going to listen, and some people don't want to listen to what it tells us in-game. Because is there any other thing in-game that, like, says, this is what happens if you do this, or your chances of this happening are higher for this reason? Is there anything in-game where it says that and it isn't true? Does anyone know if there's, like, a little bit of subtext somewhere where it says something either a little bit vague, or, like, after, I don't know, researching it, it turns out that it's actually not true. Because if that's the case, then why do people assume that the whole leveling situation with breeding isn't real either? It really intrigues me as to why people think that that's the case. And I, I don't know, maybe I'm just putting too much faith in, uh, in the developers, I guess, when I say that, but I genuinely, really wholeheartedly believe that leveling up your dragons will help you. I'm just saying. But what do we have left? We have breed dragons, win battles, collect food, catch creatures, collect gold. So we got, we got a lot of stuff, basically. We can only really do the winning battles for now, honestly. So I think what we'll do is we'll go over here, um, Collect this much gold from the mines. Do we even have any mines that we could collect from? Oh god, we have a lot. Okay, never mind. I was like, do we have any mines? Yep, you got like 30. Nice! Nice, and we can't do the collection from habitats, but we'll go ahead and we'll do a couple of mine fights here, just because, you know, they're a little bit more interesting than the blue map fights. Not too much, but a little bit. And... The reason for that is, like, this guy, level 70, with the dragons at the levels that they are, we normally don't see level 70s or above with our team, because in the blue map fights, it puts everything like level 65 and stuff like that. But if we do this, we can actually see level 70s, which is pretty cool. Not that it's max level stuff or anything, I'm not saying that, but I don't know. Maybe I just find it more interesting than it actually is. But, you know something that I haven't asked in a little while? How are you guys? How have you been recently? I don't think I asked that any time, like, in recent days, and plus I haven't streamed for, like, the last few days either. So I hope you guys have been been having fun, have been having good luck with the event, of course. No. Still working on it for now for us, and I know a lot of people that have finished, but we did kind of get majorly screwed over with some of the levels, which was kind of annoying. And plus, we don't have the metal element, so we haven't been able to uh, progress in level 6 as quickly as I would have liked. But I, I definitely think that we're going to be finishing off the event. I've said it a few times. I think it's like 100% guaranteed that we're going to be able to finish it off, to be honest with you. We'll see. And do we have any portal gems or anything? Are you going to give me one? Oh, we got two! Sweet, I feel like a poor woman just waiting for more portal energy. Like, a single, a single portal energy I beg. Give to me. And then I'll be happy. It does make me a happy girl when I get sent portal energy. And I still remember the video I made forever ago where it was like, Stop sending portal energy. No one needs it. You're actually wasting your time. 
if you send portal energy to people. Does anyone else remember that? God, that was... That was a long time ago. But, obviously, days are very different. Days are certainly very different now, and that's just what happens with new patches and changes in game and stuff like that. Which does make the game more fun in its own way, because if we just never had updates and changes, you know, what would draw us into this game anymore, basically? That'd suck a little bit. But we've done those fights for now. We're still at over a thousand points in the league. Oh, You know what? If someone told me that I should de-rank the proper arduous way, and, you know, I, I should... I admit I should be de-ranking the proper way, and I'm just too lazy to do it a lot of the time. So you know what? While we're here, for anyone that is curious, this is how you de-rank in the Enchantment League. So, if you enter the battle, obviously we've got six randomly low-leveled stuff here. So we'll go attack, and then after we press attack, we can retreat, and then we lose the points. If we just go into the fight, but we don't actually attack or anything, then we don't lose any points. So if I go into this and quit out, for example, you'll see we lost zero. So you do actually have to go into the fight, click the attack button, and then when you quit out, you'll lose the points. So it takes a little bit longer, not much longer, admittedly, but that is the way that you're supposed to de-rank in the league. And it does waste a key, I believe, which is also another reason why they implemented this, because they're just like, fine then, if you want to de-rank, you have to waste all the keys that you have, which, no, fair enough, fair enough, I'll take that trade off. It's just, when you're constantly going against dragons that are a much higher level than your team, this is basically the best thing that you can do, because if you're doing this and you keep going down in ranking, obviously you're going to go against easier opponents. And if you go against easier opponents, you're going to get yourself more enchantment materials on average. Oh wait, we don't use a key to do this. I thought we did. Okay, I'm going crazy then. Of course, because it only counts it as a key usage if you actually open the chest. That actually makes complete sense. So... Now, what I said was actually wrong. There's actually no trade-off to doing this, apart from maybe just a little bit of time wasted. Like, I'm never going to use these dragons in, like, in an actual fight. Like, I don't care how many of them end up going on cooldown. You know? Like, what do I lose for this? Nothing. In fact, I just gain. I just gain benefits for doing this. But, um, you know, it's the person that messaged me telling me to do this. You are correct. I know, it's, it's just, like I said, I get... This is really tedious, admittedly. Like, putting six dragons in your party just to then quit out of a fight... It is really grindy, in a way. Kind of like what you do in MMOs, where you just do a, a task repeatedly over and over again until you level up. I'm doing... I guess I'm doing it for the opposite reason. I'm trying to de-level myself, just to make things a little bit easier. So, you know, a lot of people do complain. They're like, why is the Enchantment League so hard? Why am I struggling so much? It's because you're at a rank higher than what your team should be. So just go ahead, do this. Again, it's the simplest thing in the world to do. And it doesn't take that long. Like, we've already done 11 flights. This will be our 12th. And then after this, we'll be at rank 860. 860 something like that. 868. So we've already lost like 200. So how good is that? Which puts us way below what we were before. And the guys in that ranking are much easier to deal with like 200 points it's actually pretty big the difference that you find because level or rank a thousand you tend to find a lot of people that have level 70s which is not fun to deal with for for myself unsurprisingly but there you go there's a there's a little bit of extra or a little bit of a a niche little piece of advice there for anyone curious on how to, I guess, pro properly or better manage their Enchantment League experience. But anyway, guys, for now, I'm probably going to leave it there. So like I said, look forward to the Red Flower being the Dragon of the Week. And hopefully the breeding pair won't be too hard, won't have shared breeding times, all of that jazz. And make sure you enter those sweepstakes as well. But anyway, for now, 
Thanks a ton for watching, and until next time, I will see you then.